missed you all. Been gone for a couple weeks. Uh, had some uh, personal problems. Need to fix some family things and a little help from my friends. And uh, we're back up and working again. Uh, just spend a little time, you know, just chilling out, uh, reevaluating the situation for the winter time. Uh, Figuring out a new game plan. But anyway, this video is really, uh, it's, it's just about, uh, like it's titled, Still the Same. Well, I'm working on a lot of steels right now. And and husk varnish, but i uh, got a lot of steel equipment in right now. Uh, especially blowers, rebuilds, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, just wanted to shout out to everybody to do a video. Uh, got to get one out there. It's been a couple weeks. And want to say howdy, hello. Hope everybody had fun at the GIE. Tom Doby, I see you're... Uh, getting that surgery done hope all is well with you and uh anybody wants to watch the rest of this video just uh stay tuned we'll get right into it here yeah i'm i'm doing good just uh getting back in the groove here um uh, notice the title of the video is still the same well we got a still br600 blower in it's kind of on its last leg you know you know to describe it like a football describe it like a football game uh we're late in the third quarter and uh we're down by 14. So uh, it really needs a repower on it. It's running, but uh, I adjusted the valves. I've never been adjusted on it. Now it pulls and starts pretty easy. It's just uh, low power. Might show you that here in a minute. And if y'all saw my Facebook post, uh, Marketplace, I'm trying to sell this uh, stick edger and a weed eater string trimmer, whatever you want to call it, uh, for a friend of mine. He's one of my customers trying to sell that. Uh, kind of cleaned up a little bit got this hush Barna all-wheel drive lawnmower in uh, the customer decided he doesn't want to fix it so it's mine now I'm gonna have to change out a few things on it the uh, flywheel guard here this is the one that came off of it this one's cracked plus it's uh, stripped out I took uh, I took one off of this is a 625 EX series, and I took one off of 725, but the, it, the mount-up's different over here for the gas tank and all that, so I'm going to have to put a little money into it, but the drive system works good on it, um, so hopefully we'll sell that maybe before the season starts. I'm not in a hurry to get that done. Another uh, steel product. This is a BR600 engine I'm putting back together. Almost got it done. Uh, did some uh, leak down test on it today. Got it back together and sealed up. So uh, getting ready to put that back on. And then the most interesting thing, this uh, HT101 pruner. The guy, uh, I just fixed this like a couple of months ago. And the guy loaned it out to his cousin. And the... Uh, they broke the shaft on it, so we're going to repl be replacing that here uh, today or tomorrow. But uh, other than that, everything's going good. Jungle Bob, I just took a little time off to get uh, things together. Uh, got this husk barn, I believe this is a 576. Yeah. Got the cylinder ready to go. Gonna be putting new piston and rings in it. Uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Thought I'd just shoot this video and say uh, I'm still alive in case anybody's wondering. All my buddies up there. So, uh, oh yeah, I've got another one. I had a couple of these uh, 600s in and 700s that uh, I just, you know, I, I turn them down and save the parts because you never know. Heck, man, some of this stuff's worth some money. Got to save it. Comes in handy. But anyway, hope everybody's having a great uh, week so far. And uh, I'll see you guys with a repair video soon. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Jungle Bob out.